Hey, what's up guys? Sharp Tony here, and today we are going to have some Pokemon card things. Intro time! So what's going on guys? Today, obviously, we're in the world of Pokemon trading card game online. So... Let's uh, let's just go to a versus match. Let's just get something going. They changed the setup here a little bit, and I kind of like that better, to be honest. It looks a lot nicer now. And let's see. Yep, I'm gonna go with this deck. This is my Dark Mar deck. It's pretty much Dark and a Leafeon. Oh, and two Regigigas, because you know I like the Regigigas. I like this Absol here because I can move damage counters if I want to. That's pretty much the only reason why I have him. He doesn't serve much of another purpose other than knock Pokemon out. I got the Zoroark, the Darkrai. This Darkrai, which is actually really good when I have, sorry, the other Darkrai is going. And I have two Malamar EX, an Evil Tall, and an Absol. And then, I'm not going to show you exactly what this is, but you're going to see, this is like the most trolly troll thing that ever happened. Like, it's, it's going to troll so hard. But I really like how this deck goes. It's been a lot of fun so far. Because it's really hard for my opponent to knock my Pokemon out. And probably because I said that, I'm going to lose this round, this match. And as you guys know, I don't like to go first. The only Pokemon that I didn't want <laughs> to start with was literally that one. I've never once started with this Absol. Oh, man, the chance of me winning this are very, very slim and none now. Gosh. Gosh darn. I mean, unless he has, like, some some basic Pokemon that's not an EX. He's gonna fill his bench, isn't he? No. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. This is a Night March deck. Fortunately. Oh, gosh. There's no Lysander's Trump card anymore. So, I don't know if I'm going to beat this Night March deck. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Let's flip heads on the Crushing Hammer. Thank goodness. Get rid of that. And I am going to start getting you set up. I'm going to Colrus. I know it's less cards, but... There's really nothing there that's going to help me, ultimately. And I'm going to super scoop up and get my Absol out of there. It's like a free switch, really. Put the Absol back down, and boom, end turn. We have to do everything possible to make sure he cannot get the Night March going. Yes! Enhanced hammer, baby. I'm gonna enhance this hammer all over that Mew. Get at me. Go ahead. Go ahead, Juniper, right now. I knew he was gonna Juniper. Yeah, throw all your energy away. How much... How much we got in here? He's gonna do some damage, but yeah, I'll brush it off for the most part. So eat enhanced hammer, son. Goodbye to that energy. And now I'm going to hope I flip heads here for the seven cards. I do not. It's only four, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. This is a completely different game now, my friends. Completely different game now. Unless he could put more Pokemon into his, uh, into his discard pile. Let's see, can he? Will he? Yes! Get at me, son! Get at me! I don't do Night March, son. What, you think I'm gonna hit that Joltik? You got no shot. I'm not putting that in the discard pile. Although, next turn, I'm going to. Both of these are gone next turn. Get at me, son! Get at me! I'm playing this like a pro, like a champion. Although he's probably going to switch... Ah, oh, Tartar Sauce, Batman. Tartar Sauce. Wait, that does nothing. You just wasted that. I do 90 damage, son. 
Not your smartest choice, buddy. Why did you do that, though? To be honest, I am kind of confused by his tactics here. Just because they don't make sense. You're gone, and you're gone. That's three prize cards in one attack. At least we got a game here now. Okay. So, I think that's the end of it for me this turn. No, it's not. Awesome, man. I'm not get, I'm gonna save my bench for another Darkrai or hopefully a Malamar, which will come out soon. And I pretty much just shut down a Night March deck. Go ahead, side drive me. It's over next turn, son. Because I have the Evil Tall come out, do some damage. Unless I hope he gets a basic here. Looks like he pulled a lamp. Oh, there you go. There you go, pal. You feel better now. Although, I only need to take one prize card after I knock your next Pokemon out. I just need to do this proper. There's, there's going to be one way to do this the right way. And I need to do it that way. I'm going to guess he switches out and brings in that Mew. And I'm going to hope I get my Lysander out. What's that, Mega Turbo you put in there? Why do you have Mega Turbo if you have no Mega Pokemon? Don't understand. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna go with this Dark Rice so I can set up a little bit. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I didn't see he didn't put Mew out. Actually. That's exactly what I want to do. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Because he can't knock me out because of the resistance. No, no, this is good. This is very good, actually. Because now I can put him to sleep with a Hypnoblast. Alright, no, we're in, a good, we're in a good position right now. I'm just going to crushing hammer for the heck of it. See if I can knock energy off something. Goodbye, Mew. You're useless again. And I guess because I have to, in order to let you attack, we'll do that. And now we're going to Hypnoblast. You are asleep. Yeah, I don't know why it does that still. Please flip tails. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. And that Absol from the beginning is still just chilling here on the bench, untouched. Un unscathed, one might say. Oh, come on, you just you just screwed yourself, man. Things to not do against Sharp Pony. No, I don't think I want to put energy on you. I think I want to put another energy on you and I'm going to Colrus. Because I'm going to get seven cards out of this. My deck is not overdrawn and there's the Absol I needed. Oh, man. And I heal some damage off myself, even better. So I hope the Mewtwo comes up now, because with that Head Ringer on it, I'm in a really good position to do something nice here. His deck is over almost overdrawn. I could stall him out if I want, and have no issue. And you're going to hope you get a double colorless, but your deck probably doesn't run double, co double colorless, does it? Hypnotoxic Laser, why not? I have more. <laughs> there we go. Now, I don't need to do that. I could just do the 30 more damage right there. Come on, man. You need to get on my level right now. There's the Malamar. I want to super scoop up and get that Absol off my bench. And I think I might put it back. It's... it's... You know what? I'm going to put the Absol back down. Ah, oh, crap. No, I'm not. I'm going to put Malamar down. Because he doesn't have any damage. So I'm in a deep wind here. 120 damage. And I'm healed. And he's poisoned and asleep. So unless he has a switch here, this is the last turn of this game. And it wound up being a really, really good match. I'm very, very proud with what happened. Yeah, go ahead, N. It doesn't... It means nothing. Your efforts are for naught, my friend. You can't switch. 
There's no way a Night March deck runs switches. And you only have six cards left in your deck. It would take you more turns than that to knock out the rest of my Pokemon. Therefore, it's a good game. And he concedes. Let's see if I win anything nice. 15 and 1. 16. So guys, thank you so much for watching that awesome match. And I will see you next time. Peace.